Welcome to our channel. Tonight, we venture into the depths of the wilderness to uncover five true disturbing cabin horror stories. These bone-chilling tales, gathered from first-hand accounts, will make you reconsider your next cabin retreat. So, dim the lights, settle in, and prepare yourself for a journey into the unknown. Story 1, The Haunting in the Woods. Our first story is about Sarah and Mark, a young couple eager for a peaceful weekend away from the hustle and bustle of city life. They rented a secluded cabin deep in the forest, miles away from civilization. The first night was quiet, but things took a sinister turn on the second night. Around midnight, they started hearing faint whispers coming from the forest. At first, they thought it was the wind, but as the whispers grew louder, they realized it wasn't just the wind. The voices seemed to call out their names, chilling them to the bone. Determined to uncover the source, they ventured outside with a flashlight. As they scanned the trees, they noticed strange symbols carved into the bark, symbols they couldn't understand but felt an eerie connection to. Suddenly, the whispers stopped, replaced by a deafening silence. Terrified, they ran back inside, only to find that the whispers had followed them. They echoed through the walls, growing louder and more desperate. In a state of panic, Sarah and Mark packed their things and fled the cabin, never to return. Local legends suggest that the cabin was built on ancient. Story 2. The Disappearing Hiker Our second tale involves a group of friends Jake, Lisa, Tom, and Emily who decided to hike in a remote area and spend the night at a nearby cabin. The cabin was basic, without electricity or running water, but it offered shelter. As night fell, Jake volunteered to gather firewood. Hours passed, and when Jake didn't return, the friends grew worried. They split up and searched the surrounding area, calling out his name, but there was no sign of him. In the midst of their search, they stumbled upon Jake's flashlight, still on, lying next to a freshly dug hole. Inside the hole were fragments of clothing and what appeared to be human bones. Shocked and terrified, they contacted the authorities, who conducted a thorough investigation, but found no further clues. Jake's disappearance remains a mystery to this day. The locals speak in hushed tones about the cabin collector, a rumored hermit who allegedly kidnaps and kills unsuspecting hikers, leaving no trace behind except for their belongings. Story 3. The Cursed Journal. The third story centers around Emily, who inherited a family cabin nestled in the heart of the forest. While cleaning the attic, she discovered an old, dusty journal. The journal belonged to a previous owner who meticulously documented strange occurrences, shadowy figures, unexplained noises, and mysterious disappearances. Intrigued, Emily began reading the journal each night. But as she read more, she started experiencing the same eerie events described within its pages. One night, she awoke to the sound of footsteps. Terrified, she lay still, listening as the footsteps drew closer eventually stopping at her bedroom door. Gathering courage, she switched on the light, only to find a shadowy figure standing at the foot of her bed. She screamed, and the figure vanished. The next day, Emily and her family left the cabin, abandoning it forever. The journal remains there, a testament to the horrors experienced by those who dared to stay. Story 4. The Phantom Lumberjack Tom, a city dweller looking for solitude, rented a remote cabin for a month to escape the stresses of urban life. One evening, as he was settling in with a book, he heard the unmistakable sound of an axe chopping wood. Curious, he looked outside and saw a lumberjack in old-fashioned clothes, swinging an axe with relentless precision. But there was no wood pile. Tom watched in disbelief as the figure continued chopping, unaffected by his presence. When he called out, the lumberjack disappeared into thin air. The next morning, Tom found his cabin door marked with deep axe cuts. He later learned from locals that a lumberjack had tragically died in the area decades ago, and his ghost was said to haunt the forest, forever condemned to chop wood that never gathered. Shaken, Tom cut his stay short and left the cabin, never looking back. Story 5. The Cabin in the Snow Our final story 
is about the Morgan family, who were trapped in their cabin during an unexpected snowstorm. With no way to call for help, they tried to make the best of the situation. But as the snow piled up outside, they noticed something peculiar. Footprints in the snow around the cabin, even though they hadn't ventured outside, the footprints appeared every morning, leading to and from the windows, but no one had any explanation. On the third night, the family heard knocking on the windows, persistent and rhythmic. Peering outside, they saw nothing but darkness and snow. The knocking continued, unrelenting, as if demanding to be let in. With the storm finally clearing, the Morgans fled the cabin at first light, abandoning their belongings. They later learned from locals that a previous resident had gone mad during a similar snowstorm, dying in the snow. And now, every storm, his restless spirit sought the warmth and company he was denied in life. These stories serve as a chilling reminder that sometimes, the most serene places can harbor the darkest secrets. If you enjoyed these tales, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more true horror stories. And remember, when you're out in the wilderness, you never know what might be lurking in the shadows. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.